Hello and welcome to Shared Library. Today we will be exploring the library website and learning how to find articles, books, and ebooks using the library catalog in OneSearch. This tutorial is aimed at research in the health sciences fields. Let's start with the homepage, libraries.etsu.edu. Here you will find information on library services and support. You can view the hours for the building and online assistance as well as see where we have available computers right now. You can also browse new books, find news, announcements, and events, and chat with us. There are more options for getting help under the Get Help tab in the top right corner of the page. The Study Spaces tab will show you where you can study. To see what technology is available in the library, such as printers and mobile device chargers, follow the Computers, Printers, and Equipment tab. Go to Writing and Citation Tools for help with writing and citing. The Student Resources tab organizes all of our services to students. Here you can request a research help appointment with a librarian, find services for distance students, view jobs and scholarships, and more. At the top of the home page, you can click on the My Accounts tab to access your library account and interlibrary loan. Now that you're familiar with the library homepage, let's try out OneSearch. We'll search for nutrition and elderly. And then we'll click on search or press enter. This search gives us many different types of materials, including books, journal articles, conference proceedings, and more. I'm going to scroll down and click the check mark next to articles and then click apply filters so we can look at just the article results. This purple symbol shows you if the article is peer reviewed. Let's look at an article more closely. You can see the title, the author, its peer reviewed status, whether or not it's available online, and other items including citation information, ways to share, and the permalink. If an item is available online, it will say view online with full text availability. Sometimes there will be more than one way to access it, but all the links will get you to the same article. As you scroll down, you will see other details, such as the creator, relevant subjects, the journal it's in, and when it was published. At the top right, you will find other suggested articles based on the one you chose. Here in the middle, you will find citation information, and you can choose whatever style you need and copy it to your clipboard. Now that we've gone over the catalog record, let's look at the advanced search options too. Clicking on the advanced search, whether on this page or the home page, will bring you to a view like this. Let's use the same topic as before, but we'll add more to our concept. I'll put in elderly, or aged, or geriatric, and nutrition. We will want to leave it at any field. For a material type, let's say we already have an article, but we're looking for a book. We want something published in the last five years, so we put in 2017 to 2022. You can leave the day and the month blank. Now we click search and it will bring you to a new page. So make sure you save the citation records from your previous search. If you haven't signed in before now, you'll want to go ahead and do that so you have access to all the materials available to you. This search gives you a list of books available at the library and it may include both physical and online books. If you are working on a long-term project, you might want to save the query, meaning save the search. To the right, you will find other options to filter your results. You can look by subject, author or creator, collection, language, and more. Clicking on the pin will save an item to your favorites. If you'd like to email something, you can click here or copy the citation. Now let's look at a book. 
The catalog record is very similar to the one we've reviewed before, including title, creator, subject, and description. We'll now look for a print book. Clicking on the New Search button brings you to a new page and includes the basic and advanced searches. Let's switch to a slightly different topic and look up aging and exercise, which brings up over 360,000 results. We could do the advanced search, or we can use the filters to the right here, similar to many of our databases. Now we're going to scroll down and click on Books and eBooks. Let's look at this one. This is a physical item available at Shared Library. Items can be requested, or you can find the physical location under Location Items and look at the call number. Today, we have covered the basics on what you will find on the library homepage and how to use OneSearch. You are welcome to make a research help appointment with a librarian if you would like further assistance.